Hello friends, today we will learn class 10 chapter 1, chemical reactions. Um, it is based on NCRT syllabus. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell icon button too to receive further notifications. So let's start. Let's start. We are going to explain about chemical reaction chapter 1. Chemical reaction. What happens when milk is left at room temperature during summer? What happens when milk is uh, left at room temperature during supper? Curling of milk takes place because the temperature is more in summer. What happens when an iron tawa or pan or nail is le left exposed to humid atmosphere? Rusting of iron takes place because atmospheric oxygen, uh, atmospheric gases are present in the atmosphere. Because of that, there is a rusting of iron takes place. What happens when grapes are fermented? The grapes containing glucose, it undergoes anaerobic condition to form alcohol. What happens when food is cooked? Cooking alters the chemical composition of various nutrients. It also kills the several microorganisms. What happens when food gets digested in our body? It releases the energy. For example, carbohydrates, fats, and protein undergoes metabolism to release ATP. That ATP is utilized by our body. That is in the form of energy. What happens when we respire? There are two processes, inhalation and exhalation. In, while inhaling, we'll take the oxygen. When, while exhaling, we'll release the carbon dioxide. That is breathing process. Physical change. There is no change in the physical chain. There is no new substance is formed. When you take ice cubes in a beaker, you keep it outside in the normal temperature. It By the process of melting, there is a formation of water. This water, once again you boil it, it evaporates the vapor. But there is no new substance is formed. This is known as physical change. Chemical change. In a chemical change, there is a new substance is formed while burning. The ash is formed while cooking. Boiled rice, for example, rice, when you will boil it, there is a formation of cooked rice. Resting. Iron nails you take uh, when exposed to the atmospheric oxygen it reacts there is a formation of rust what is chemical reaction chemical reaction are the process in which new substance with new properties are formed what happens when magnesium ribbon is burnt in air magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling of white flame and changes into white powder this powder is magnesium oxide it is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in a in the air. This is the burning of the magnesium ribbon. Why should magnesium ribbon be cleaned before burning in air? Because it is a very reactive metal. When it is stored, it reacts with oxygen to form a layer of magnesium oxide on its surface. This layer of magnesium oxide is quite stable to prevent and prevent further reaction of magnesium with oxygen. This magnesium ribbon is cleaned by a sandpaper for removing this layer so that underlying metal can be exposed to air. What happens when a potassium iodide is added to a test tube containing lead nitrate solution? When potassium iodide reacts with lead nitrate, it forms potassium nitrate and lead iodide. The form, molecular formula, potassium iodide is 2Ki. 
plus lead is uh, PbNO3 twice, lead nitrate. The potassium molecule reacts with nitrate. There is a formation of potassium nitrate. Lead molecule react with iodine. There is a formation of lead iodide. This is the potassium iodide react with lead nitrate solution. This figure it shows. What happens when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to the conical flask containing few zinc granules? Zinc reacts with dilute HCl to form zinc chloride. ZN plus 2 HCl. There is a formation of zinc chloride, ZNCl2 plus hydrogen gas. This is a figure for dilute hydrochloric acid react with zinc granules. What happens when dilute sulfuric acid is added to conical flask containing few zinc granules? The zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate. ZN plus two molecules of H2SO4. There is a formation of ZN plus SO4. That is zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is liberated. This is the figure for sulfuric acid react with zinc granules. In the diagram, we will observe what do you have observed around the zinc granules. Around the zinc granules, there is a formation of bubbles of hydrogen gas are being formed around the zinc granules. In conical flask, uh, there is a cork. Cork is fixed to the conical flask. In between the cork, uh, there is a uh, glass tube, with the help of glass tube, hydrogen gas is coming out. Is there any change in the temperature of the conical flask? There is a rise in temperature when we touch the conical flask. Characteristics of chemical reaction. There is a change in state, change in color, evolution of a gas, change in temperature, Formation of precipitate. Chemical equation. The definition of chemical equation. The method of representing chemical reaction with the help of symbols and formulas of the substance involved in it is called chemical equation. Reactants. The substance which undergo chemical changes in the reaction are called reactants. ZN plus two molecules of H2SO4, there is a formation of zinc sulfate. ZN and uh, two molecules of H2SO4 is known as reactants. What is product? The new substance formed during chemical reaction are called product. Zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas are the products. What is skeletal equation? The definition of skeletal equation, the number of atoms of any element in a chemical equation is not equal on both sides. Then it is a skeletal equation. For example, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid there is a formation of magne magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. This reaction is not balanced because in the right hand side, magnesium one molecule is there, hydrogen one molecule is there, chlorine one molecule is there. In left hand side, magnesium one molecule, hydrogen two molecule and chlorine is two molecule. This is known as skeletal equation because it is not balanced. Balanced equation, the definition of balanced equation. A balanced chemical equation means total number of atoms of each element is equal on both sides of a chemical reaction. Means uh, completely it is balanced in the both sides, right hand side and left hand side. RHS equal to LHS. Magnesium one molecule and hydrogen two molecules, chlorine two molecules, and left hand side, 
magnesium one molecule, hydrogen two molecules, and chlorine is two molecules. This equation is known as balanced chemical equation. Why should an equation be balanced? A chemical reaction should be balanced because matter can neither create it or nor to be destroyed. The total mass of reaction should be equal to the total mass of the product. It is on the basis of law of conservation of mass. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So thank you, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, hit the bell icon button to receive further notifications. Thank you guys.